everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we are taking you back to one of our favorite lunches we've done since starting this channel. That's right. How about we take you to Din Tai Fung? Here you can see they're making fresh dumplings right now. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Let's go. Here we go. All right, so Din Tai Fung is a Taiwanese restaurant. It does predominantly feature dumplings. Um, and if you're not into pork or shrimp, you're probably gonna struggle to find <laughs> stuff on the menu here. <laughs> That's right. Now, we do like pork and shrimp. Yeah, I have no problem with that. So we did order a whole bunch of pork and shrimp dumplings. Um, one of them that we ordered though is not available today. So we did actually go with a chicken dumpling, Jidori chicken. So that'll be interesting. It will be interesting. I've never even heard of it, but it was recommended by our waitress. So yep. why not? All right. Cheers. We both got milk tea. Boba for her, no boba for me. And then first dish. So this is the, I got to say it right, sweet and sour pork baby back ribs. I have wanted to try these since the first time we came here because they smelled so good at the table next to us. <laughs> I'm yes. like, we got to try they these. They look delicious too. I'm just going to pick them right up. They do have sesame seeds They're on them. Definitely not like the, a large rack of ribs that you would normally think of with ribs. Um, but they're a little bite-sized. It's more tender than I was thinking it was going to be. It's got a sweeter, and I know it's sweet and sour, but... A sweeter flavor? Yeah, Yeah, you much sweeter a, flavor. You got a mustache with it. <laughs> They're very juicy ribs. The yeah. sauce is very... I, I can't put place what the sauce is, but it's not... It's a very sweet sauce. <laughs> I think that's it. Like I don't, I don't notice a lot of sours. It does say sweet and sour so, or sweet and sour pork ribs. Yeah. Um, but it's a pretty sweet and tender, juicy. Delicious. Good start. We did get the Shaolin Bao, which is what they're most known for. It is a pork soup dumpling. Ooh. Okay. Um, they do give you some vinegar that you can put in with it. Vinegar, ginger. There's also soy sauce on the table and uh, chili oil. I kind of like just the, the pure pork soup that's inside of it. And so a lot of times poke a hole a little. Oh, I just bit a little bit off the top. It's just a very pure pork flavor with a lot of juices inside of it. That's what I was gonna say. I think it's the broth inside. Yes. Oh, and back to the little ribs. They are messy, <laughs> super messy. They are. <laughs> they're really good, but they're super messy. I definitely was not gonna try that with chopsticks. Soup dumplings down. <laughs> Next up is the Jidori chicken. So I've never had a chicken dumpling like this before. Uh, you can see that they're more like the moon shape. They're pretty Ooh. big. Uh, I'm gonna dunk mine in soy sauce. I'm gonna try mine without first. It's actually, there's a lot of juices inside of it, kind of like the soup dumpling. You yeah. okay there? I just <laughs> tripped all over my napkin. I think that's what threw me off, is like it was more like the soup dumpling. I wasn't eating, I wasn't yeah. trying to eat it that way. I was thinking of it almost more like a pot sticker, but like there's a lot of good juices in here. Yeah. And the chicken, it's just a, a very good chicken flavor. Nothing, not flavored over the top. I would say, after having that first one, I want to say there's just about as much broth, if not a little bit more than in the Chalo Chow. Yeah. I, I'm shocked and I actually am very happy with the chicken. Uh, this is what the waitress recommended we mm -hmm. try because we, what we wanted to have was the, the shumai, which is like a very classic dim sum dish that's uh, mm -hmm. with sh shrimp and pork. And so she wanted to figure we should change it up and I'm glad she did. Yeah, it's good. This is a very interesting look. I don't exactly know what I'm looking at. Two more dishes just came out, spicy wontons and pot stickers. Yeah. I've never seen the pot sticker with like a whole layer. Yeah, it's um, a very interesting presentation. Yeah. I'm reaching across, I wanna try the spicy one. And I think she's doing that because she doesn't wanna be the person that breaks this. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, it just comes out like, that's after breaking it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna break it that way. Oh, you thank go. you. I'll make it easy on you. 
They also do come out with a sauce specific for this one. There's juice in that one too. <laughs> They're very flavorful. Mm -hmm. um, and that tastes like a like a very rich soy sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it. What I do like about this place, and I'm gonna say it earns its keep the second time around and we're not even finished yet, is that everything tastes different. It's not, it, does. it doesn't have a similar taste across the board. You can taste a distinguished flavor in each dish. I, I do like that. I, I want to say the first time we came, maybe we ordered differently, but I thought they weren't too far off from each other. This time, we definitely made a better ordering decision, I think. So this is shrimp and pork pot sticker. As I said at the beginning, pretty much everything is shrimp and pork. But the texture on them changes that up. It does. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the chili? I thought it was delicious. I want to eat more, but I was going to let you have it. The, it's spicy, but not it over is. the top spicy. It's a very good one. I think we mm -hmm. could order that every time. I think we should order it every time. It, I agree. It's a very good heat. Not over the top, like she mm -hmm. said. It does give you that burn, but it's not like I can't eat any more because of it. Now, give me five of them. I might change my mind. Right. Um, and these also have shrimp and pork. <laughs> Yeah, I think we did a good job on the variety of this mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would think with all the same with all the same proteins, it would be very similar, but this changed up a lot. Yeah, one thing we did not get the first time we were here, dessert. Yeah. So this time we are trying two different things. First one is chocolate shaolong bao. The second is a sesame bun. Yes. So they do two different types. One is um, with the kind of the wonton wrapper that they have on the dumplings. I think you can chocolate. see the steam. It, they look hot. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's more of a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm. I think of it almost like a brownie batter. Oh. Like just inside of a, a wonton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, it is more of a dark chocolate. I do think. Yeah, not overly sweet, which is what I like about it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it also means I could probably eat multiples. We only ordered one set though. Right, <laughs> which means we'll eat three each. <laughs> Last dish of the day, we have the uh, sesame. It's black sesame bun. So yeah. it's like the steam bun on the outside and then a black sesame. Black. This black. is Like dark. I'm afraid it's gonna turn my teeth black. <laughs> it, I like it. I wanna say that's okay. The flavor wise reminds me of a no-bake cookie. I think this is sweeter. I would agree with you. I actually think that it's almost more like a peanut butter with sesame seeds. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's where I'm getting the no-bake cookie flavor Maybe. from. No, these are really good. So I like them. The bun is super soft on the outside. Very rich inside. Yeah. This is like too... I know people tease me about calling them like little white pillows of heaven, but it is. And there you add some sweetness to it. This is delicious. Yep. Great way to end it. All right, we just wrapped up here at Din Tai Fung. What'd you think about that? I'm Second time through. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on the list and I'm gonna come back. Yep, I thought it was very good. It's very consistent. They're so fresh, consistent. Uh, the wonton wrapper, I, I've been struggling to figure out what we call the skin, the wrapper. <laughs> um, it's so good. It, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. It holds up, it's got body. Uh, what was your favorite dish that we had? Oh, it might be because it's the last one and I was craving some sweets. The chocolate sesame, or the sesame ball. Yeah, Thank the sesame bun. Sesame bun. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it was I, so good. So I thought the good. sesame bun and the chocolate dumpling were both great. Yeah. Um, and I was very leery of them, but they were both, both very good. As far as savory dishes, I still go back to the, the spicy one. Oh, savory. That spicy wonton was delicious. Yeah. I agree. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.